Hey out there, Mitchell here with a Mortal Kombat X Combatant Guide that is aimed at giving beginning and intermediate players a jumping off point to learn a new character. Note that these videos are by no means expert combo videos or played by a 5 time EVO champion. Fight. Just a regular guy looking to help others be better at Mortal Kombat. This video will cover... Jason Voorhees. Jason, as you'd expect, is a big, slow bruiser, regardless of which of his three variations you go with. While his unstoppable and relentless variations are fairly similar and share many of the same combos, his slasher variation plays like an entirely different character, and that's the one I'm going to be focusing on the most in this video. In his slasher variation, Jason is a monster of close, capable of dealing massive damage without even having to use meter, and without much technical precision required as well. That being said, getting close isn't easy, and characters with good zoning games are sure to give slasher Jason some problems. So, to start off, let's take a look at some of his special moves. Shoulder Push Back, Forward, 3 Jason's Shoulder Push is a pretty standard combo ender and wake up option. Better as a wake up option since Jason has some more damaging combo enders at his disposal. Killing Machine Down, Down, 4 Activating this causes Jason to become literally unstoppable with armor for a few seconds. Note that he can't jump while the buff is active, and after the duration is over, Jason must take a breather, leaving him open to a full punish. We'll come back to this move a little bit later. Bloodshed. Down, forward, one. Despite how it looks, this move is actually not a grab and it can be blocked. Still, it's a great way to punctuate combos. The enhanced version adds damage and armor to the move. Machete Toss. Down, back, two. A straightforward projectile that travels quick, but it's a bit slow to start up. Jason's not going to win any projectile wars with it, but it's still a great tool to have. The enhanced version, as you'd imagine, gives it extra damage and armor. Psycho Slash Back Forward 2 A combo attack with forward momentum and insane damage if enhanced. A fantastic wake up option to punish overly aggressive non-jumping enemies, and a great ender for a combo that's on the ground. The enhanced version gains armor and, as previously mentioned, a crap load of damage. Now let's take a look at Slasher Jason's most useful basic combos. Shoulder Smash. 1, 1, 1. A simple mashy combo that's notable because it's a good way to catch opponents after a juggle. You can combo into any of Jason's combo enders after the third hit. Brooding. Forward 4, 2. This is the combo that makes Jason's Slasher variation super dangerous. The first hit is low and the second hit is an overhead, so the opponent will have to know what they're doing in order to avoid getting knocked into the air. You can repeat it up to three times without even having to be in the corner and still have enough air time left to finish the combo. Be careful though, because it is punishable on block. Machete Launch Back 1, 2-2 two, two. Another launcher that is faster than the forward 4-2 four, combo, but it only hits mid. Still, it's a nice combo to know to mix things up. No hiding. 1, 2, 2. You won't be landing any huge damage combos off of this, but this is a good combo to know because it has good range, which is something that Jason is sorely lacking when it comes to his big damage combo starters. It's also worth pointing out Jason's back 2 and forward 2s. His back 2 is a great anti-air and can set up into some juggles if you're quick enough, while his forward 2 is a nice overhead that can be used against opponents that are afraid of your forward 4-2 combo. The forward 2 can also be immediately followed up by a Psycho Slash. Now let's put it all together for some advanced combos. Forward 4, 2, forward 4, 2, forward 4, 2, 1, 1, Bloodshed. Like I said, Jason's big combos are very straightforward and very damaging without even needing meter. This is a bit tough to start because the range of the forward 4 is so short, but if you can, your opponent is going to be hurting. Back 1, 2, 2, neutral jump punch, forward 4, 2, 1, 1, 1, bloodshed. Similar to the last combo, but with a different starter. Note that instead of finishing the combo, it might be helpful to stop after the forward 4-2 and immediately follow up with a killing machine. That way you can easily get the move off without having to worry about the opponent interrupting you and be in good position to make the most out of the buff. Speaking of the killing machine buff, if you have 3 bars of meter, a good way to avoid getting punished when the buff ends is by comboing into an x-ray. Here's a combo that will let you do just that. Forward 4, 2. Forward 4, 2. 
forward four, two, x-ray. In Jason's relentless variation, he loses the machete but gains an invaluable teleport which will be a godsend against projectile spammers, which is an opponent that Slasher Jason really doesn't have a good answer for. The startup time on the teleport is a bit slow, but he can perform moves pretty quickly after re-entering, a good opportunity to use one of Jason's grabs. Here's a few combos that are universal between the unstoppable and relentless variations. 3, 2, up 1, 1, 2, 2. One, 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 choke. Back one, two, two, run. Back one, two, two, one, one, choke. In addition to the teleport and pursuit, which reverses the controls of the opponent, the relentless variation also gains a ridiculously powerful passive buff called Damned, which gives him extra damage on all of his attacks depending on how much damage he's taken. And that's not just how much he's taken in a round, that's all rounds put together. So if you're in round 3 in a closely contested fight against Jason, expect him to deal a crap ton of damage to you. Unstoppable gives Jason two buffs, one that buffs his damage temporarily, and one that gives him some slight healing over time. More interesting though is that after you lose a round, Jason will actually come back to life with health based upon how much meter you have when you died. A full meter will recover about a quarter of life for Jason. And that's all I have for you. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please leave me a comment to let me know. It goes a long way. Also, subscribe right here to Jurassic Rabbit for more Mortal Kombat X combatant guides, and maybe even consider supporting my videos by hitting up my Patreon, linked in the description below. Until next time. Jason wins. Fatality.